Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Andy and today I want to talk to you guys about my Canon R5. It took me a long time to buy this camera. One reason is because it's super expensive. The other reason is because of the overheating issues. We know that Canon did release an update that solved that problem. But did it really solve it? Well, I'm going to tell you the complete honest truth. I've owned a Canon R5 for four months now. and. To be honest, I shoot mainly YouTube videos. YouTube videos that doesn't last up to 30 minutes. A lot of my videos goes up to maybe about 15, 20 minutes, but when I crop it down and when I edit, it goes out in like seven, five, five to seven minutes. So personally, I haven't had an overheating issue. I also shoot a lot of my videos in 4K. Sometimes I shoot in 1080, but with the 4K, I still don't have an overheating issue. And if you're shooting in 1080, there's like no overheating issue at all. And I'm not saying no at all, like just keep shooting forever, but it's almost non-existence. I haven't had a problem with it, which is pretty crazy, right? Okay, okay, okay. There is this one time that I've had an overheating issue, but it's my fault. So let me talk to you guys about what happened. I was using the camera, recording a video, recording a YouTube video like I always do, and then I kind of left the room with the camera on. And when I'm recording a YouTube video, I put sleep mode off. Now the camera is just on the whole time and even when it's not recording, it's still on ready to record. And then I left the room for a while actually and I'm not sure exactly how long. I think it was like 30 minutes to 45 minutes, I'm not sure. But when I came back, there's this like red symbol on the camera and that's when it shows, hey, it's kind of overheating or it's hot. Picked up the camera, yeah, it's hot. You know that time code on the top left for when you're recording? Yeah, it's zero. That means you're not able to record anything. Now, like I said, the camera is hot. So I turned it off and I left it there for about 20 to 30 minutes. It takes quite a bit to kind of cool down the camera. So that was my fault <laughs> because I left the camera on. If I have one piece of advice for you, it's to turn off the camera. This camera doesn't overheat as often as people say it does. And yeah, you might say that it's already been resolved, but it really hasn't. It's just expanded it a little bit, but at the same time, you can still get it if you're careless. My advice to you would be to turn off your camera when you're not using it. Think about what you want to talk about. Think about what you want to say, what you want to record. Plan it out and then record. All my plans, I just go and shoot it all without even having a thought of the overheating. That's how little it overheats. The only time I did it was when I left it on and left the room. That's it. If you guys are interested in buying the R5, don't hesitate because of the overheating issue. And especially if you're using it for YouTube too, okay? It's totally worth it. I love this camera and I've had zero regret on it. So don't hesitate. <laughs> the camera overall is amazing. And I wanted to make this quick video to show you guys that it isn't a big issue. Because if I were still looking to buy a Canon R5, I really would want to see a video like this. I wanted to know, is it going to interrupt my recording process? Is it going to take even longer because I have to wait for the overheating? Is it going to mess up my workflow? To be honest, it hasn't. It hasn't done anything different. So if you guys are worried about the overheating, I'm just saying, what overheating?